thing. Just how old are you? 81. I mean, he never watched an army, never drafted a soldier, never employed a weapon. Yet, no leader has ever had a volunteer to under his command, subdue the nation, or something like that. They're getting going. Put the air to the stick by the way you God bless you. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Up tomorrow. All right. And of course, sir, I can't, you know, I can't walk like you talking, but I can talk like you talking. It just can't walk anymore. But however, the same thing I do, sitting down, I'll be glad to get any kind of way I can get and, 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 and keep the wheel turning. Think about what I've said, and you go ahead and add to it, take from. He came into the world that he might reveal the father of mankind. He put on humility to put on divinity. He became the son of man to become the son of God. He was born contrary to the laws of nature, through manhood, unnoticed, without love to proceed. He even unraveled. In his youth, he sought the king. In boyhood, he puzzled the wise. In manhood, he ruled the course of nature. He never practiced medicine, yet he healed the multitudes, breathed the infirmities. He healed the sick, raised the dead, gave the sight to the blind, and ruled out evil spirit in his almighty word. He lived and they have a place of the alcoholic. The addict, the outcast, binds up through hearted, impossible life, compliment, and ambition to the rejected. Never watched an army, never drafted a soldier, never employed a weapon. Yet, no leader has ever had a volunteer so under his command, subdued the nation. Oh, he is the star, huh? He's a rock of salvation, or he's a lamb of God. He's a harmonizer of all discard, a burden bearer, and a giver of rest. Herod couldn't kill him, Satan couldn't seduce him. Death couldn't destroy him and the grave couldn't hold him. All right, he was rich, but for our sake became poor that he might be rich. He laid aside his purple gown for a peasant's gown. He slept in another's manger. He rode another's beast. He had no grain fields or fish hatcheries, but he could spread a table for 5,000 and have bread and fish to spare. He walked on no beautiful carpet or velvet rug, but he walked on the waters of the seas of Galilee and they supported him. For three years he preached the gospel. He had no church house, he had no financial underwriters, and for 1900 years he was a pivot around which the events of ages revolved. When he gave up his life on Calvary's cross, a few mourned, but the sun was darkened. Men trembled, not for their sins, but the earth shook under their feet. Nature honored him, sinners alone rejected him. Corruption could not take his body. His death and resurrection was contrary to the laws of nature. And he grew to manhood an image of our invincible God. Now you have to ask yourself the question. Was it merely the son of Mary and Joseph that walked the world horizon some 1900 years ago? Or was it human blood that was spilled on Calvary's cross for the redemption of sin? Call him by his name then. Oh Lord, my God, that matchless Christ my Savior. Never watched an army, never drafted a soldier, never employed a weapon. Yet... No leader has ever had a volunteer so under his command, subdue the nation, or something like that. Take it on, put the air to the take by the way you want. God bless you, thank you. Fantastic. Somehow, <laughs> <laughs> and then this damn man here, yeah, Yancey, who's taking this picture here, God bless him, I want you to follow his father's footsteps because we can't rip him out. He's, he's patterned right behind this old man, and I say, you better believe it, too. Because ain't that nigga, they come on the stone, he can do the same thing. And uh, in many things that he said right around that table and got from this old man right here. Because I'm going, I'm moving out, but he's coming in. And he's a young man, got a long way to, I was a young man, I'm old, as you know. So God bless you.